I'm called Alex Baguma from Barara Archdiocese. I'm in a National Major Seminary Gaba. I'm going to talk about self-reliance and the spirit of manual service. From the word self-reliance, this mainly means that someone becomes dependent on himself. National Major Seminary Gaba as a church institution we can't say that it is perfectly independent, but it has got some projects that have at least made it self-reliant. And among the projects, we have the Piggery project, we have poultry, we have fishery, we have dairy farm, we have got some vegetable gardens, we have plantations of matoke and sweet banana, among other things. And these gardens, all these projects have been put in place so that they can support the seminary in the affairs it runs. And it instills in members the spirit of also promoting such projects when they have gone in their parishes. For example, when one joins Dialy Farm, he's aware of how he can rear cows on a small scale, if not on a big scale, and how to harvest good liters of milk from even two cows. For example, here at National Seminary Gawa, we have one milker which gives 34 liters a day. So when an individual gets to be part of this dairy farm, he gets knowledge of how he can produce milk from a single cow and it satisfies the needs of the parish or the community where he is working. He can also get information on how to treat these animals. And also from projects like the gardens, they have helped the seminary to improve the diet of the seminarians. And also being in an urban setting or in Kampala city, the gardens have also helped to at least cut down the expenses of the seminary on buying vegetables and other requirements. Why these projects? From my explanation, they help individuals or students to get the knowledge of how to run this project when they are in the ministry, carrying out their services. When we talk about the word self-reliance, it's not that a seminarian is instilled in the spirit of doing business and trade, but the self-reliance we are talking of is to help an individual to get knowledge of how to make his own parish or his community free from the vice of begging as it was before. The milestone of 50 years of the existence of this seminary has had good fruits out of these projects. Seminarians or priests who have left this place are doing wonders outside and in the parishes where they are posted. We are very grateful for this Jubilee celebration. The vast land which was dormant has been put in use and it has been cultivated with the tomatoes, cabbages, of all which have supported the seminary system to run as it should be. We thank you all members and we wish you the best as you come to join us for the Golden Jubilee celebrations. Thank you so much.